Not too long ago, Super Smash Bros. Melee had its 20th anniversary, which is something that I have a hard time to wrap my head around. Because now that means there is a greater gap of time between now and Melee's release date than between the release date of Donkey Kong and Melee. Now that's crazy. So I've decided to make a video about something Melee related for a special occasion, and what better topic to discuss than the game's amazing event matches. Event matches are special matches with predetermined characters, stages, items, goals, and even rules sometimes. Sometimes you'll be fighting alongside Zelda against Ganondorf, while at other times you'll be a Jigglypuff trying to kill other Jigglypuffs. These events really spice things up from the normal single-player gameplay mode. There are a total of about 50 of them, and today I'll be counting down my top 10 personal favorites. Number 10, Bounty Hunters. We all know Samus is a bounty hunter, the sexiest one alive, but I don't think we've ever really seen that side of her much, well, at least I don't, so it's nice that in this match we get to see her in action. The goal here is to KO Bowser while playing as Samus, with Captain Falcon being your teammate. However, if Falcon's the one to KO Bowser, you fail. It can be a little tricky since Captain Falcon has better finishing moves, like Falcon Punch or the Falcon Dive, and since he's your teammate, you can't kill him. It's a unique challenge, and one that could use some successors in other Smash games. Number 9, Space Travelers. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, the only reason this event is on here is because it's Earthbound Beam and you all know how much I love Earthbound. In this match, you play as Ness and try to KO all of your opponents on Foresight and Battlefield with only one stock. Your opponents include Fox, Falco, Samus, Kirby, and Captain Falcon. Now, if it's a lot of guys to take out with only one life, and as you'd expect, this match is hard. Some say it's the hardest complete in the whole game, but while I definitely find it tough, I wouldn't say it's the hardest. Maybe it's because I'd like to play as Ness a lot, so I'm a lot more familiar with his moveset? I don't know. Number 8. Seven years. Spoiler alert, Young Link is Adult Link as a child. Surprising, I know. In this match, though, these two age-split Links duel it out on Great Bay with three lives each and no special rules. Only you play as Young Link instead of Adult Link, which in my opinion is a better matchup than the other way around. Otherwise, you know, child abuse. It also kind of feels like you're the one trying to prove yourself. Like, this is Link, or Young Link's, or whatever, I don't know what to call him. It's like you're trying to prove that he's no longer a child. Either that, or I'm looking way too deep into this. Number 7, Slippy's New Invention. I'm all for a good challenge, so how about not being able to see your enemies? Well, in this match, you can select your own character, and have to take out a nearly invisible Fox and Falco. It's a unique idea that makes the match more intense without giving the player a handicap, and Star Fox references are always appreciated. Number 6, Triforce Gathering, one of the most important events since you unlock Ganondorf afterwards. The goal here is to take out Ganondorf, who has two stock alongside Zelda as a teammate on Temple. There's no gimmicks or things to have to get used to, but it's still a lot of fun. Number 5, Legendary Pokemon. Like Triforce Gathering, this match unlocks another character, this one being Pichu. Besides that, what's cool about it is that you get to see so many legendary Pokemon, as the objective is to defeat all the wireframes by throwing Pokeballs and summoning a legendary. Although sometimes you get a Wobbuffet. Be quick though, because Jigglypuff can grab balls too, and bring Hell's Wrath upon you. Overall, a fun couple of minutes. Number 4, Link's Adventure, mimicking the final boss of Zelda 2. In this event, the player controls Link and must defeat Dark Link. Can we just talk a minute, though, about how cool Dark Link looks here? I wish he was an alternative costume or something. I mean, I guess we kind of got something like that in Brawl. But nothing will ever beat the complete Shadow Clone of Link that we were given in Melee. Number 3, Final Destination Match. By the time most players reached this event, they would have fought Master Hand many, many times up to this point, and possibly Crazy Hand at least once. But all that experience doesn't do as much good as it should, because this challenge is hard. Both Master and Crazy Hand have over 300 HP, and you have to take them both out with only one life. Many of their moves can easily gang up on the player, and it's really hard to multitask damaging one while avoiding the other. 
It is a good event to end things off though, because it's the last of the 50. Or is it? Number 2, Showdown, the 51st and true final match, as well as the hardest. Instead of fighting two hands, how about Mewtwo, Giga Bowser, and Ganondorf with three stocks each? My favorite character to do this with is surprisingly Jigglypuff because of how easily Giga Bowser dies to her rest attack. And once Giga Bowser gets taken out, things aren't too tough after that. You just gotta be smart and maybe try to get Ganondorf to kill himself with his up B a couple of times. What I love most though is how Jigglypuff is so good during this battle. It's unbelievable, almost as unbelievable as Jigglypuff getting his or her own event match to themselves. Number 1, Jigglypuff Live. Is it stupid? Yes. Is it annoying? Yes. Does it have any right to even exist or make it to the top 5 in this list? No. So why is it number 1 you ask? Because I love it. That's why. The battle is so chaotic, just 4 Jigglypuffs duking it out on Pokemon Stadium with 3 lives each. Crazy stuff always seems to happen every time I play this match, whether it be bombs blowing everyone up, Mew being summoned, or a red shell taking at all four puffballs at once, something crazy always happens. Except this time, that is, because of course, as soon as they start recording something, it stops. Thankfully though, this isn't the end, because Brawl and Wii U continue to be a vent match tradition, with many, many more fun and interesting challenges, which I might make another list about someday, but until then, I hope you all have a good day. This is Alpha Leaf Gaming, signing out.